In the previous video, we discussed about the CPG ionates. If you want to watch that video first, you can click the link from i button or find it in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about DNA methylation in detail. Let's get straight to it what DNA methylation is. It is the transfer of methyl group from same molecule to adenine or cytosine base of DNA. So we see here it involves the addition of methyl group to the DNA bases and this addition takes place on two DNA bases that's adenine and cytosine. So we can say methylation takes place on two DNA bases among four. Now what mediates the transfer of methyl group is done by an enzyme namely DNA methyl transferases in short DNMTs and these DNMTs are of three types DNMT1, DNMT3A, DNMT3B. First of all, let's see what's the specific function of DNMT1 enzyme. This DNMT1 has capability to maintain the pattern of methylation within the cell. So this is for the maintenance of DNA methylation. But what does maintenance mean here? Suppose we have a DNA molecule, it has 20 bases methylated, of which 15 are cytosine methylated and 5 are adenine methylated. And it's during the replication of DNA molecule, the newly synthesized DNA molecule is methylated at same 20 positions, with 15 cytosine bases methylated and 5 adenine bases methylated. Thus, maintaining the DNA methylation from parent DNA to the daughter DNA. And this DNMT1 needs hemimethylated DNA to work with. Now let's see the other two methyl transferases, that's DNMT3A and 3B. DNMT3A and 3B have altogether same function. That is the de novo methylation. These enzymes do not need hemimethylated DNA to work with. And the addition of methyl groups occurs at new positions. Now let's jump towards the mechanism of DNA methylation in detail. In the mechanism process, we will see how the cytosine base gets methylated. In this diagram, you can see the cytosine base and this is acted upon by DNA methyl transferases. 3A or 3B. And from here, methyl transferase drives the transfer of methyl group from same molecule towards the fifth position of pyrimidine ring of cytosine. And in this reaction, the donor molecule of methyl group, that's S adenosyl methionine, that's SAM, gets converted into SAH, that's S adenosyl homocysteine. So from this transfer reaction, we will get a molecule with the addition of methyl group at fifth position as shown in the figure. And this is termed as 5-methyl cytosine. This is the end result of methylation of cytosine base. But things do not stop here for cytosine because it's prone to deamination. And this will lead to the spontaneous hydrolytic deamination when the water is added towards it while amino group at the top of pyramid ring is removed and is substituted with oxygen there. And from this hydrolytic deamination, we will get the thymine thereby incorporating single nucleotide mutation in DNA molecule. And if this mutation is detected within the DNA molecule, it can be corrected by an enzyme namely thymine DNA glycosylase, which removes the thymine base in GT mismatch. This leaves an abasic site that's repaired by AP endonucleases and polymerase enzyme. So this is all about DNA methylation and the deamination of 5-methyl cytosine into Thymine. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.